together. Again for yet another episode of Color Commentary, where we give you views. views from a different side. This, of course, is Rashad uh, and my compadre Chuck Taylor here. Make sure you guys hit that bell, subscribe, make sure you get all new notifications and everything. So all of it dropping. All of the above. Let's go. Let's do it. Today we got our mugs here because we got our Marvel stuff, but not this Marvel. We've got the original Marvel, what everybody cares about, Someone actually. This is kind of X Men stuff. Kind of like not the movie stuff, but you know, people care about the real X Men. But not the real X Men this time. We're going to be talking about the New Mutants. New Mutants. We're going to be talking about that trailer. Real quick, a little history on the New Mutants. Who are the New Mutants? Hmm. So, the X Men was initially founded by Professor X, the five of them. Cyclops, Iceman, Beast, Angel, and Jean Grey, Marvel Girl. Not and Wolverine? Then, nope, he was the original five. Yeah, yeah. Then they dropped dropped those, most of them except Cyclops, and they added the rest of the team. Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Colossus, Wolverine. Storm, all them crew. And then a few others later came on. As those kids were getting, you know, as they get older, and they weren't really kids anymore, they decided to kind of re- revisit the initial idea. And so they, they created a comic book called The New Mutants. So that's basically what it is. It's like the next class of X-Men. But they got their own struggles, their own things. They eventually would return into X-Force. But the team, the name, the New Mutants has has come up several times in Marvel Comics. So this trailer is based off of those characters. So as you can see in this trailer, it's a little bit more of a horror movie type of feel. You think? (laughs) A little bit. It's a little bit. (laughs) And I'm going to get down into that as we talk some more about it. Music and... Out the we board. don't need no education. Kids. This is not for kids. I'm scared <laughs> already. Oh my. I'm Wolverine. So, uh, what are your thoughts on the new Mutants trailer there, sir? Well, I mean, I guess real quick before we even go on our details, you remember the first one that you saw? Like when they when Fox brought out like oh, t- two uh, years ago? Yeah. Literally yeah. two uh, years yeah. ago at this point? They brought it back. I'm trying to think of my initial reaction. I thought that was pretty decent, too. Okay. But I definitely, I definitely see the Disney touch on it. You know? Okay. You know how they, you know Disney knows how to bring out trailers. You know, make you really want to see it. Fox okay. sometimes was you know, too much. Same with DC, DC sometimes. Okay. But um, but yeah, it gave us just gave me just enough to really mm-hmm. spark my interest again and really kind of bring them back to the forefront of you know because it's been two years. I know they made this movie a while ago, and then once all the Disney Fox stuff merger happened. It was like, well, I guess we're not gonna see this movie. They just right. <laughs> spent all this money on it, and you know these these people are all doing something different. So, um, and uh, the Marvel team was like, like we can't release this movie, bro, because it's like it's gonna conflict yeah. with what we got. And the executives at Disney were like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna conflict. And it's like, how much it costs again? Oh no, go ahead and put that out. Don't put that. Go out. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just had them do a couple reshoots, change the story out, make sure everything looks good, and put that out. But you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll tie it in later. Right. But, uh, exactly. But, uh, we'll, Kevin, you can figure this out, you right? Can figure it out. We'll yeah. give you enough money. Right. But we'll figure. We'll uh, tie it in with um, Doc Strange or one of them people. There you uh, go. Just change up some stuff. Multiverse. It's in the multiverse. You know what I'm saying? So the multiverse <laughs> of madness. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> so and uh, they, they don't have a trailer for that one yet. No. Anyways, so I felt I felt intrigued. I I, I thought it was creepy, it had the creepy okay. little music going on. I knew at least three of the actors from other past movie, other past TV shows, um, and movies. So I I was like, okay, I do know these people. Okay. I don't really know the story. I don't know anything about New Mutants okay. until you you don't know, really talk teach me right. uh, yeah, to break it down yeah, so to break it down so I'm like okay I'll, I'll give it a shot I saw Fox on there I was like what I was like oh yeah Fox is they did start that no they did film this mm-hmm. so I guess you can't just say Marvel on there they did know? throw Marvel on there make sure you know it's Marvel yeah so. look at it it's Marvel too guys yep Fox and Marvel 
right. together. So I'm I'm also wondering is this gonna be tied into Marvel or is, is this gonna, gonna be tied into nothing? Is, are these characters gonna come back on something else eventually? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. This, this will be the last time we see well, this. So we just see the one one hitter yep. horror movie. Unless it makes a lot of money, like well, if it kills it, you're like Kevin, you can work this you out, can right? Work this out. <laughs> but um I didn't really understand what the story is going to be be about without someone explaining it to me. I can say that. It looks like something creepy and scary. And I'm like, oh, they got mutants in this? <laughs> this is an X-Men movie? I was like, oh, okay. They're ch- getting chased by myself. So it was cool. I didn't see them have powers on the first trailer I saw two years ago. That's true. So seeing them have yeah, powers made it more like, okay, it's a superhero comic type of movie. Right. So I was like, and, then, and I think now we're a little bit I guess um, prepared for some of the darker movies, darker TV shows, because like Watchmen, um, uh, what's it, Boys. <sighs> Anyways, I'm still in that town. But um, and some of the other, some of the other comic book shows. Stop sipping, trying to f- explain. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but um. But yeah, because we're kind of prepared for some of the darker, yeah. more um, grittier type of comic book shows. I think it should be received pretty well in okay. the public. I think so. You said explanation. Sounds like my cue. <laughs> I'm going to do a spoiler review on it, honestly, because I know a lot about this type of stuff. So I feel like I have an idea of what's going to happen. So uh, I don't. I want to give people the chance to click off if that's what they want to do. But before oh I do that... Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'll go ahead and give my thoughts on it. Um, I'm not hype about this, but I think I'm just tainted by the fact that I know what the characters are about. And so since I know what the characters are about, I realize that this is somebody saying, these are some characters that we really don't have anything to do with them, so let's just do something completely different. You know, let's just do a horror movie. Why not? You know, we need, we need to do something different. You know, that that's not really what these characters are about. You know, so it... it, it it's weird to me. Like to me, I kind of want to just see the regular action movie. But I mean, hey, you know, we'll we do something different. I mean, people like Logan. Logan was different, but Logan really wasn't that far outside of what Wolverine would be. You know, this is kind of pretty different. You know, uh, than what I'm used to seeing as far as this character. So I'm not particularly hype about it. I could be wrong. I mean, I've been wrong before. I mean, I chose Chuck as my friend. I was wrong about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a month. Give my month. <laughs> um, but hey, I did see I did see a couple things I liked. Um, so let me get into the explanations of things. So here we go, guys. Spoiler, 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 spoiler on the trailer. Spoiler, spoiler, trailer. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. So there are five characters that are mentioned in this. Um, you get um, Sam or Sam Guthrie. That's the guy from Stranger Things. So his name in the comic books is Cannonball, and he has the ability to fly. And he creates these um, these shields around him, and basically he just propels himself right at you. And so it shows the fact that he's in a um, he's walking around inside of a mine shaft. And what happens is so he gets stuck in the mine shaft. Uh, there's a cave in, and so that's how he's able to get out. Is that he just his mutant power manifests, and he's able to bust out of the cave. But even though he saved everybody's life, everybody's pissed at him because he's a mutant. Remember, superheroes are not good in the X. Well, X-Men. mutants aren't superheroes either. Well, they they have powers. They're just people I mean, if like yeah, yeah, regular people with powers. Like, oh no, he saved my life. They don't have people. like the flashy capes and suits. Exactly. They just look like you and me getting mad. When they get mad, they blow up a whole building. Like, oh, right. Maybe I should have chilled for a little bit. Yeah, kill those people. Yeah. Um, the next one is Ileana Rasputin. Who do you know whose uh, sister she is? It's Gloss is this little baby sister. So there could be some connection. There could be some connection with the Deadpool movies on this because the real Colossus is in that movie. Um, so yes, that's his little sister. She has the ability to uh, to teleport. She creates these uh, these discs that are really large, and she can just kind of go. From oh, place well, that to place. was the one with the, the blonde. The blonde yeah, that's the blonde chick. Uh-huh. She she was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, one of her main stories is that she has the ability to go to limbo as well, uh, which is like a hell dimension and somehow she ended up kind of becoming the queen of hell 
a little bit. Well, she so she's no got problems. some. She's got some uh, sorceress type of powers a little bit as well. She should be good. This should be. She should be in her. Yeah, realm she's good. She's all good. Oh, scary stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill you real quick. So her name is, is uh, Mag- Magic or Magic. Okay. okay. The next one is uh, Ron- Rain. I always thought it was Ronnie, but it's Rain. R A H N E. Uh, Rain Sinclair. Right. Uh, her name is Wolfbane, and she can turn into a werewolf. So as you can see, that was one of the coolest parts of the trailer to me. I didn't realize that oh, they were going to show that. She started slurring to her. Right. Okay. She had like a scratch or something on her, or she just. I don't know. I just saw her ears start getting bigger. Oh, okay. I'm, I need to go back and look at that. I don't want to miss that. Yeah. So she can go. She can turn into a werewolf, or she can turn straight into completely into a wolf. So that's a pretty cool power that she What's has. What's the difference? A werewolf is in between. The werewolf is gonna stand up. Yeah. Exactly. And it's scary. Werewolf, werewolf is. is you know, she gonna be is. like an actual wolf. Or? Yeah. A wolf, wolf. 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 Um, the fourth one is uh, Roberto da Costa. Uh, his name is Sunspot. And uh, as I told our friend Antoine, he has the ability to turn black. <laughs> <laughs> black, 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 right. black, black. In the comics, I mean, he's literally just completely black. <laughs> Can't see me. Yeah. <laughs> what he does is he absorbs the sun, and that gives him uh, strength. And uh, later on, he developed the ability to shoot. Oh, he, I, I did remember seeing that black spot. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> that was him. That was him. Okay. That sunspot. I see sunspot. I'm like, what, is that a shadow? <laughs> Interesting thing about him and his character is there's been a lot of controversy about um, exactly how dark he is. Because he's, a, he's black, but he's Hispanic black. You know what I mean? So a lot of times when he was initially put out as a character, he's not he's not African American. I'm not sure exactly what his uh, where he's from, but he was a darker skinned character. But over time, he has become lighter skinned, which I don't remember. I think wasn't he lighter skinned in this one? Yeah, it was, he he looked like a Hispanic kid. He yeah, he meant black. <laughs> yeah, so no Miles Morales uh, looking over here. Nah, yeah, that's how he's supposed to look. He's supposed to look more like Miles Morales. They're like, yeah, he's probably because kind of just make a black dude turn super super black. Be a little <laughs> no, this is 2020. This is uh, Yeah, the last one, and who seems to be the main character, is uh, Danielle Moonstar. Uh, she has the ability, she has some psychic abilities. She has the ability to um, read your mind to some extent and then project mm-hmm. your greatest fear based off of that. Okay? Oh, yeah. Um, She's the one that kind of does the whole thing, right? The whole thing? She like, does the whole thing. Doesn't she like me? Anyway, just keep it. <laughs> and her nickname is, a uh, uh, code name is Mirage. So the whole thing I think is going to be based off of her because she is Native American and she kind of has some mystical powers a little bit as well. And her main thing is that she is able to see like the mystic bear or something like that. There's some demon that is messing with her um, that's in the shape of a, of a bear. And I think that that's going to be really what this is about. So it's going to be this that movie. something that looked like a big issue kind of bear yeah. in the um, trailer when um, Cyclops' sister no Colossus' sister Colossus' sister right. comes flying from her tele- her uh, dementia thing mm-hmm. and I saw something look kind of like a best man right. you might be on something yeah so I think it's going to be that it's going to be that demon uh, in the manifesting as a bear but the other side of that is a lot of the things that are going to be happening are going to be based off of her powers in general because she manifests your greatest fears and that and as a mutant just developing her power, she may or may not be able to control that. So I think you're going to see that happen a lot in the movie. That a lot of the things that so are like happening a, in the movie are based off of her projecting other people's fears. So kind of like uh, what a girl did on the uh, second Avengers movie. When, uh, yeah, she Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. She got in their minds. It's like everybody's ready fear type of right. thing was happening to them. Right. On there, but it's going to be on a darker, scarier yeah. scale. So her character, I think, is going to be what makes really what makes this movie because without her character you couldn't really make this a horror movie well you could do it a little bit with Wolfsbane Ron Sinclair yeah but so I guess with those two you really could have it up yeah I guess she teleports and she deals with demons she would deal with that wolf real quick (laughs) and then you got the guy turning black and people scared of black people so uh, I mean there you go so uh, I, oh, okay. now that I talk about right. it, it becomes it actually becomes a little bit more interesting. I'm interested see, to see. Look, now you're the inter- yeah, yeah, talk myself interested. into it. Yeah, now, now, look, he's a fan. <laughs> I knew nothing about it, and I was interested. He knew everything about it. Now he's interested. Yeah. So 
hopefully I have uh, hopefully I didn't spoil it for anybody I hope that you stopped watching if you didn't want to learn too <clears> much <throat> but hopefully maybe I've in intrigued you a little bit more to know those characters I thought it was really cool they didn't just like in the first trailer we saw two years ago they didn't just show the characters that we had to guess they literally said this is Sam this is Roberto you know on and on from there that's good um, my only problem was I think everybody's fine I don't like the casting of uh, Sam Guthrie. That's not what Sam Guthrie looks like at all. No, Sam, he's tall. No, he's the uh, the Stranger Things guy. Oh, oh, oh! He doesn't look like the company. No, he doesn't. Yet. He doesn't look like that guy at all. I don't think the casting is really good on that. He's a kid. He might grow up a little bit. I mean, look at uh, Cyclops. is always short. Is it? You sure all the all all the the live action? Really, is James Martin short? How tall is he? Like five ten, five eight. Five eight. Five, yeah. Dang, bro. I mean, if, 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 like if uh, six two. <laughs> man, unless unless um, Jean Grey is like six foot two, cause she's taller than he is. Oh, that's sad. And they're like neck and neck, like I she like barely. James Martin. I got you. Forty-seven years old. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, so uh, anything else that needs to be said about this? No, I'm ready to see. Um, this comes out when? <laughs> Supposedly, sometime this year. April. We'll see. We'll see. We'll yeah. see what happens. I'm not yeah, gonna I want to check it out. I'm, man, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with, uh, you know, at least I'm intrigued. I can say. Yeah. So hopefully, it's a good movie. Yeah. I'm, now that I've talked myself into it, I, I am interested as well because again, the the fact that so many of their characters like Magic, like Danielle, and like uh, all the female characters really have something to do with something being scary. Really, I think I'm kind of becoming more interested. Yeah, I, it kind of makes sense. It makes it makes it not now that you explain a little bit more of the storyline, who these are. I'm like, okay, they could probably make a pretty cool, cool, scary movie with these type of characters. But we never thought about you know, these characters. Superhero and mutants and stuff being scary mm -hmm. as their cartoons and comic books. So right. seeing them like, oh wow, this this might be a little jumpy over here. Now we got comic books and all type of genres. There you go, there taking you go. over everything, making all the money. Uh, viewer here, Jared Lee Terrell says, sounds great. Definitely intrigued. Love combining the comic characters with horror. Yep. Yes, let's check that out. Interesting. All right. Well, if you like what we did, Jared and others. Make sure you give us a like. Leave your comments here on Facebook or on YouTube or Instagram or wherever it is that you see us. The Gram. The on gram. Twitter. Whatever. Uh, as usual, you've got to subscribe to survive. This is Color Commentary where we give you views from a different side. I don't need no education.